everyone. It's uh, Glenn again, Aussie Techheads. Welcome. Welcome one and all. It's uh, episode 487. It is uh, recorded on the 12th of May 2016. I'll tell you, there's a little bit of a chill in the air now, isn't there, eh? It's getting cooler and cooler. Uh, you can follow us if you want on social media. We're pretty much everywhere. Facebook.com forward slash Aussie Tech Edge. YouTube.com forward slash Aussie Tech Edge. You can get us on the uh, TuneIn radio. Uh, just type in, uh, we'll load up the app and then punch in search in Aussie Tech Heads and also you can search the Aussie Tech Radio so you can search that one there as well with the tune in radio Aussie Tech Radio wall to wall 24-7 back to back tech shows from Australia and New Zealand and maybe one from America I think but uh, we still include the cool blind tech because uh, there used to be an Aussie in it and uh, <laughs> I think he might have left but anyway it's still there it's pretty handy for those that, uh, that yeah just need to learn to how to use their iPhone or their iDevice or you know whatever uh, just if you just got a bit of hard of seeing so tune into that all right other shows on the network Aussie Max Zone each week get it on iTunes and the Aussie Tech Security another episode out on Thursday so uh, it's every two weeks the Aussie Tech Security so we're talking about oh you know just how to protect yourself if you're a small business or whatever and Roger's uh, pretty much up with it all there he goes to the unis he's written books apparently top seller on Amazon so he knows what he's talking about so jump on to uh, the Aussie Tech Security and give it a burl all right and uh, look I think we must uh, welcome Eric this week hi Eric hello Glenn how you do sir yeah not too bad thanks what have you been up to anything uh, exciting this week no, just had the uh, finally finished getting the uh, half of the bottom floor of the house painted. I don't know. Right. It doesn't sound like doesn't sound like much, but <laughs> <laughs> they were there for eight days. Yes, that's a long time. <laughs> yes. And were they? Was it just like a, a white over white? It wasn't like uh, a... no, it was a different color, but it's it's more of a very light grey. Right, so that few yeah. undercoats or whatever. Yeah, undercoat patching, repairing any damaged uh, brickwork or oh, cause yeah. it's double brick downstairs and any damaged, you know, uh, you know, timber and whatnot. Right. You know those those when they paint window windows and got they've got those little frames, you know, the little Yeah. You know, the, right? Panels. So they have to paint all those. Right? Oh so yeah, they're up there. They're yeah. a pain. And they've got to prep them, they've got to undercoat them and mm. so that's 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 why they took so long. Does your house have the, the cornices? Some, yes. Yeah, it's not a lot of yes. houses these days they don't, it's just wall ceiling. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, it probably creates a bit of a box. It does look it's funky. It's it's new age, isn't it, I suppose? Well, um, I don't know, call it call it something. Yeah, it's something. Uh I've got a mirror. They look all right. I don't mind them. I'll well, send I'll send you a photo, Glenn, I'll while do that. While you're there. You'll do that. Do that. You don't have to sh- you don't have to show the crowd. No, I can't. It's on um it's on uh, the phone anyway. You won't see it. Be too bright. That's right. <laughs> Rightio, uh, look, where are we going to start? It's a bit of a slow news week this week, as far as I could see. I was pretty much scratching around. I've come up with a with a couple of stories, though, that to uh, entertain you, you all with. Uh, look, the first one we can have a chat about is Amazon launches a competitor to YouTube. Now, it's called, if you go to, oh, there's the message. Oh, let's have a look. Just pause. Not actually pause, but just pause that story. I'm going to look at this, and I'll tell you what Eric's bottom floor looks like. Oh, nice, Eric, nice. It looks like the governor's residence. It is. Beautiful. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Now, uh, yeah, Amazon. So Amazon launched a service on Tuesday that allows users to post videos and earn royalties from them, setting up to compete directly with... I like how the news, all the newspapers now calling it Alphabet's YouTube. <laughs> we Alphabet. all know it's just yeah, Google. It's a weird, weird name. Yeah, it's just the Google YouTube. So, uh, yeah, so Amazon's uh, kicking in for a bit of a go. Now, it's going to be called Amazon, well, it is called Amazon Video Direct. We will make the uploaded videos available to rent or own, to view free with ads or be packaged together and offered as an add-on subscription. So there you go. Look, I uh, joined up. I don't know really why, but I joined. And oh, I'll tell you the rigmarole. So you've got to fill out some, all this taxation forms. and What? Yeah, because you get can get paid for it. The US, I suppose, because it's based in the US, you've got to fill out forms for the IRS oh. saying that you're not a US citizen and, and all this sort of stuff. And I think at the end, they even take, uh, there was something, they, they, you still have to pay 5% tax even at the end to the IRS. What? A, yeah, I know. It's pretty crazy, eh? But anyway, 
what do you do? If you want to use it, you fill it out and you you do it, don't you? But yeah, it'd be interesting. Look, I might give it a bit of a, a bit of a burl. It just uh, it goes on the same it goes on the same say log on as if you've already got an Amazon account. Uh, like whether you right. yeah, I've got I've got an Amazon account. Yep, so you can sign in and then sign up if you know what I mean for the Amazon. Yes. Speaking of Amazon, hmm. um, Top Gear, the you know the fellas from Top Gear, how they left yes. the BBC. Yeah. Um, they've come up with their new title of their show. Yeah. And they've got a Facebook page, and they're on Amazon. You know, Amazon's the one that you know hired them out. Yep. It's called the Grand Tour. Right. Okay. That's the name of the, that's the name of the new show. The Grand Tour. The Grand Tour. Oh, the what? The Grand Tour. T O U R. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So you you look. I've never watched too many Top Gears to be honest. Oh, I but, love Top Gear. Yeah. Look, I suppose it's just one of those things. Like, I don't get time to watch too many I'll shows. And... Let me tell you something, Glenn. Mm. If you like non politically correct people. Yep. Who give it to our least favourite political leanings. Yep. Right? Watch <laughs> these blokes. Right. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll give them a go. I'll give them a go then. Um, yeah, look, it's, it's all good. I think, what was, uh, oh, I don't know, what shows do I watch? Not too many, but, uh, but anyway. I think we get stuck here with Master Chef and The Voice. Oh, I'm not watching that. I can't yeah. stand Mr. George. Oh yeah, why not? Just, uh, oh well, every time he the way he eats food, it's like, well, were you raised in a in a tent in a cave? <laughs> just coming about eating food, like you know, you got to watch. I just you know watching the American elections with some. Uh, I'll uh, be watching that entertainment value, but uh, uh, I, I, I think I'll fly up to Rabina for the <laughs> uh, Australian election, Glenn. <laughs> The Australian yeah. election. Yeah, I'll come up and we'll sit in your big screen there <laughs> yeah. and just swear at the TV. <laughs> yes, but but I was watching... Uh, hang on, I've got to stop that message coming through. It's, it doesn't leave you alone, does it? Uh, I was watching... Um, yeah, I was watching a bit on the American politics and like, it's just funny how like yeah, you know, Donald's got names for everyone. Yeah. and uh, But then he when he starts bagging that John C- Cash Kasich or something, he goes like, he goes, you see how this guy eats? <laughs> He started bagging him on how he eats. He goes, whenever oh, there's a camera around, just got to stuff his face with pizza. <laughs> oh, it's, it's entertainment plus, entertainment plus. Um, <laughs> it's fine. I'll tell you another a good place to get all your entertainment needs is JB Hi-Fi. Oh, that sounded like a commercial, didn't it? Oh, wow. Wow, yeah. So now JB Hi-Fi has reclaimed first place in this year's Corporate Reputation Index, climbing two places from 2015. Really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the corporates... The Corporate Reputation Index is part of a global study conducted each year by Australian research consultancy AMR uh, in conjunction with the Reputation Institute. Oh, how do you get a gig there? Hang on a minute. You're telling me that is this based on reputation or best place to work? What's it based on? Just what other people think of them. The study measures how Australians feel about each company or products and services, innovation, workplace, citizenship, governance, leadership, and financial performance. Okay. All right. I doubt many Australians would know what the hell Nestle Australia would be on about. (laughs) What number did they come in at? Number uh, 12. Right, right. Um, Because it's not a retail brand. Well, they have retail brands, but it's not like a, like a Harvey Norman storefront, for example. No, well, uh, you're right. Well, Nestle, Nestle, well, I suppose they're just, people must like the coffee, must like all that stuff. But you've got JB Hi-Fi at the top, coming in number one. you got, uh, look, I'll just go through a few. Uh, Toyota, this is in order, by the way, so I'll go chronologically upwards. JB, Toyota, Samsung, Qantas, Mazda, Air New Zealand, Audi, uh, Devondale, Murray, Goulburn, Apple. Well, Apple coming in ninth. Mm. Hewlett Packard, 10. Apple was 11, 11 last year, so they've got jumped up a couple. Virgin. Now, here's just a couple of randoms that are in the list. Flight Center, the good guys, ING, West Farmers Australia. Post, how they make the top? They should be down to bottom 20. <laughs> now, uh, as the list goes down, you know, like if you come in, what is this, the top 60? It's still not bad, but as you come down the bottom, <laughs> News Corp. <laughs> News Corp. <laughs> Fairfax. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. oh, Fairfax is above News Corp. I, I know, doubt what's it. What's going on? The ATO. Yeah, that should be not even being made on the list. Seven Eleven. 
Uh, Foxtel. Mm. Oh, Foxtel gets a bad, uh, bad rap. Bad rap. Telstra. Yeah. But there you go. So there's some. Uh, there's some... Have you know? You know what I've. You know what I've noticed out of here. What? The top companies, most of them are non-Australian. Right. And the bottom companies, most of them are Australian. <laughs> What's now, that what saying? does that tell you? Oh, that we, tells me we've that pull the Australian up. companies have got to pull their fingers out. Yeah, we've got to pull our socks up. Now, pull your um, socks up. Yeah, so the on the tel, tel, telco front, Optus climbed 15 spots. It's now ranked at number 28. Telstra uh, climbed four spots, holds on to number 50. Uh, Vodafone's... Hang on, Optus has got a better reputation than Telstra. Really? Yeah, probably because Telstra's got too many, oh, like a lot more customers maybe. No uh, problem, well, I don't know. Maybe. Optus is pretty rubbishy customer service and uh, website interface is rubbish and, there's, and their service offerings is crap. The index was compiled from a survey of adults, uh, 18 to 64, uh, which, why, why would you go over 64? Can't retire, yeah. have an opinion. No, they don't. No. Apparently. They're gone. They're finished. Uh, Life's when over. When you hit 65, we, you're, uh, you, don't, you don't count, apparently, according to a lot of people. Does that go up? Uh, em- employers the... probably yeah. think, oh, you're 65, mate. Let's just farm you out. You know, like, you know, when you've got a pet that dies, yeah. but your parents don't want to tell you it got run over. Yeah. It says it went to the live on the farm. That's what they do to old people. Live on the farm. 64. Going to live on the farm. 65 and above. No good. Anyway, uh, so data was collected online between the 22nd of Feb and 21st of March. I suppose it can be as oh, accurate as you want, can't it, really? Yeah, yeah I don't know how scientific well, this is. Yeah, so probably all the JB put a memo out and said, can everyone do the survey? Yeah, to, it to will their, give you an extra nose ring. To their, to their staff. I'll pay, your next, I'll pay for your next tattoo. <laughs> JB has taken up... Oh, and also, as, a, as another, just an additional bit of info, uh, I, I found while I was just, you know, trawling through information, the news stories and stuff, uh, JB Hi-Fi has taken up vacant retail spots left by Dick Smith in the Sydney International Airport. Fair enough. Yeah, so why not? So How, how are their employees going to get through security? Yeah. <laughs> It'd be pretty hard. I wonder what would you do if you got oh, like, yeah, the the bus would be going off. But if you got like body art or body jewelry, what do you, you have to take it off? Do you, like, well, nose ring? You wouldn't have to take that off. It's a, it's metal. Got to take it off. If you got to take your belt off, yeah. hippie boy's taking his nose ring off. I guarantee it. Geez, you wouldn't want to have it anywhere else, would you? Well, especially <laughs> the ladies. Hmm. JB Hi-Fi, uh, yeah, so the blah, 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 yeah, that's enough of them. What's this? Yeah. The electronics retailer signed a six-and-a-half-year deal with the airport retailer. They're long leases. Six-and-a-half six years. Six-and-a-half, that's an odd odd little... Six-and-a-half? Oh, you know what, is? they might be just taking over the lease that was left over from... Dick. Dick Smith might have done a five plus five, and they've done, they're probably in three-and-a-half in. So yeah. they did a year and a half plus five, possibly. But they're all in, aren't they? Well, it was six yeah. and a half years. Like, they're there to stay. They, obviously... Oh, yeah, they're pretty cocky, Dick Smith. <laughs> but what would they... Have you ever been into the Dick Smith at the airport? No, never. Well, you're not going to buy a TV. You know, you know me, mate. I'm at the airport a lot. Yeah. And I've never walked into a Dick Smith. <laughs> I'll walk into a Subway and get a meatball sub before I walk into the Dick Smith. <laughs> but, like, but you're not going to buy a TV, are you, at the airport? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Put it above in the put it above in your carriage. Just slip, just slip it under the seat in front of you. Yeah, or, or try and attach it to the seat in front so you can watch it. So, <laughs> I'm just I just I just get my Apple TV out of my bag yes. and hook it up to my laptop. Yeah, and just, just why not get his forty yeah. inch across the back of the, the back of the back screen. of the seats. Yeah, well why not? Uh, hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> and you get some hockey straps out. And, excuse me, mate. You just, you just lean forward for a second. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the go. That'd be my go. How funny would that be? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I don't know. What would you buy? Obviously, you'd buy uh, maybe international power adapters. I yes, can't see. Uh, ear, earplugs. Um, maybe, you know, if you're desperate for a burner phone. Or maybe, would, would you be able to buy duty-free there as well? Uh, yes, it'd all be duty-free. Yeah, so you could if buy... It's, it's, if it's behind the customs gate, you can, it's duty-free. Yeah. So does that mean, so you could go in, say, buy an iPhone before you went overseas? Yep, you could. Do you know what duty, the, you'd be duty-free. Do you know what the limits are on consumable goods? Well, they give it a dollar limit, right? Okay, right. But 
the, the, the trick is, if you, um, I think is it a dollar limit? It's it's only when you come in. And it's a stupid little, it's a stupid thing. I don't know. I can't remember, actually. They don't ask it anymore. They used to ask questions like, they only ask now if you've got more than $10,000 in cash on you, right? Pool. Who'd walk around? Hey. Unless you're a drug dealer. Who'd have $10,000 taped to your <laughs> small intestines, really? <laughs> yes. um, better things to do with it. Leave it in your bank, really. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they used to ask things like, um, have you purchased electronics worth more than 500 bucks, for right. example? Right. right? Yeah. Is it, if that's you, when you're coming in. And to tell you, to be honest, I don't think they asked it anymore. So there may not be a limit on it. Because everyone used to go to um, you know, Hong Kong and shop hmm. for electronics and stuff like that. So, you know, you'd buy a computer. And I, we, we talked about this a couple of years ago. When I was pricing MacBook Pros here compared to what they were paying in Hong Kong in equivalent dollars, right, after the exchange rate and everything, and it was something like a $700 difference. More expensive here by 700 Yeah. So, if you're going overseas... Oh, you're going to buy some stuff. Eric didn't reformat his computer. <laughs> He's frozen again. Happy days, hey? Happy days. All right, well, let's just see if we can get the call back. Or has he actually frozen? I think he's actually frozen. I think he's gone off. All right, so what we might do then, everyone, is... Oh, no, is he coming back? Just trying to get the call back. Hang on a sec. It doesn't even tell me if he's if he's online or anything. Uh, that's crazy. Skype is crazy. All right, so we are. We'll just uh, stop it there. Uh, you're gonna hear a couple of couple of seconds of some funky music, and then we'll be straight back. Yeah. Yes. All right. Welcome back. So yeah, we're talking about. I think we'll finish up on that. But yeah, what Eric, you were saying, yeah, you could go over to Hong Kong. Sometimes get your products, Apple products, cheaper. And yep. did you have to buy? Have to pay the tax when you come back in? No. Nope. All good. Because as far as they're concerned, um, I already had the computer. Yeah, how they got it. That's right. How do they know? How do they know? That's right. How are you going to know? All right. Well, let's move on. What sort of, what did you uh, pick out this week? Anything exciting? Yes. Let me just get the notes up and hopefully it won't freeze. Viewers, <laughs> listeners, sorry. So I think uh, you've got a couple of little Apple stories. We always like getting involved. I get. I always get three Apple stories a week. I think that's enough. Yeah. That's yes. Yes. Um, well, well, that'll do. Now, I don't want to, want to make Garth cry too much. <laughs> now, the first one that you've got there is something about the Apple Music. Yeah, according to this article by digitalmusicnews.com, and links are in the show notes, Apple is preparing to completely terminate music download offerings on the iTunes Store with an aggressive two-year termination, termination timetable actively being considered and gaining favour. According to the sources, here we go, according to sources, yeah. um, with blah, 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 discussion now focus on not when, if. But, okay. Sorry, not, not, not if, but when. Rightio. Now, look, I don't know how, how deep into the story, this story that you, you've been, but so what do they say? So they want to stop that, so you cannot, you won't be able to buy music. It begs the question then. If I'm going to pay for music, because some people like paying for music, right? Yeah. They like to have a little yeah. album or whatever, whether it's in a digital format or in a physical format. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. The little um, feeling in your belly. That's right. Yeah. So I'm thinking if I pay some ridiculous amount of money, like we compare to what the US pays, $1.99 a song, for example, hmm. you're telling me that I can only stream that song? Oh, is that what it? Yeah, right. right but, because, you know what I'm saying? Because if they're going to stop download, music download. Okay, okay. So you'll be still be able to buy it, but yes, I see what it's saying. It's just it looks like it's going to they're going to stop you from I think downloading. People, people will stop buying it. What about people who don't have the internet? That's right. That won't happen. I, that, that can't I, happen. I see that's that. ridiculous. Where this see, was, Mac rumors? That's, that's no, no. That's from. Um, Digital Music News, but then there's an update on Mac rumors. It says Apple rep Tom Newmeyer contacted Recode and said that the report that Apple would stop iTunes music downloads in two years is not true, mm. right? But sometimes there's always a little bit of, you know what I'm saying? It's like behind every joke, there's a little bit of truth. Or like mm. behind every rumor, there's where there's smoke, sometimes there's fire. Well, I guess. Uh, it would have been better if if it was a non Apple rep maybe that came out because like you would imagine that okay the story's come out Apple's going to terminate music download everyone's going to stop buying it 
And it's but it's not, not going to be for another two years. Apple's going well. We can't have that. So yeah. let's just go. Okay, no, that's not true. That's not true. Keep buying. Yeah. And then we'll keep, keep spending money. Keep giving us our cut. Mm. Mm. And in two years, we'll just. And when they say uh, Apple is like aggressive, you know, because they just chop things off. Yes. You know, without notice. Yes. Not supporting that anymore. Commencing yesterday. There'd be an uproar. Surely. So, so I reckon they've been caught out. They'll be, they'll, be, they'll be fanboys necking everywhere. Oh, no. <laughs> You're all over the place. <laughs> You've been, that, that'd be devastating to people. I, don't, I can't see that happening. But I, I, see, the thing is with Apple at the moment, and again, here we go with the cookie monster, right? They, there is no leadership, no proper leadership. There's no vision. Mm. They're all, it's all about, at the, since Cookie Monster took over, it's rather than, rather than lead. You there still? Yeah, yep. Um, rather than lead and let other people follow, for example, iPhone, and then everyone comes out with, oh, we've got to come out with one. Yeah. They're getting to the point now that they're doing the following rather than the leading because everyone's coming out with streaming services, right? right? Yes, yes. So they're thinking, oh, we've got to get in on this. Pandora doesn't have downloads. Spotify doesn't have downloads. All these other, you know. But you can. Got... You, you can yeah. download from Spotify. Yeah, but it's not their predominant business. No. Right? So they've, Apple's gone, oh, well, <clears throat> we can't have that. We've got to do the Me Too, keep up with the Joneses. Can't, right? Can't they do Instead both? They're leading, they're following. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I know what you're and saying. they have their own streaming service, which absolutely nobody uses. No. Well, I, I read a story. On, I don't know if you've got that in yours this week, but uh, I read a story. No, no, you haven't. But I read a story that they're, they're redesigning. They redesigned the Apple Music. It's going to come out in a new format. Yeah, we'll it's, see. They've well, been terrible with their anything to do with iTunes. The software is rubbish. The design is crap. And then and they try to put everything in it. Oh well, if we've got iTunes, because originally it was built for songs. You know, you throw your CD player in the drive, and it imports your songs, and you can play your songs from your computer. Right? That's what it was yeah. designed for. Yeah. They whacked movies on it. Then they whacked TV shows on it. Then they whacked podcasts on it. And now they think, oh, well, then we will, we'll put our streaming service on there as well. Why can't you just have separate platforms? Why does everything have to be bundled into iTunes? Well, they, they have tried to separate it. They've, they've pulled podcasts out. Well, on the on the On the, on the, on the um, mobile. iPhone they have, but, but it's still on Apple iTunes. Right? Yeah. They, iTunes has been around for 15 years, and they have, there's not been one real major back-end redesign. I can't work out why they feel they would need to terminate music download. Like what? Well, look, what does it hurt it them? Could be, it could be the rumor, right? Hmm. Could but be a rumor. Why but would it? Shoot, it isn't a rumor, and it's true. <clears throat> it doesn't make any sense to me. People still want to play for music. Amazon, you can still buy music from Amazon and Google. Yeah. Yeah. Well, everyone's it's... just everyone's just going to go. Okay, then that's fine. I'm just going to buy them from Google. Yeah, I can't see why they'd be even going down that track. Like, what is what don't well bandwidth? You're still going to have bandwidth streaming them, so you know they're constantly not... want to listen to the song eight times. Well, you know you you have a party, you got your kids friends over, and they want to play some songs, and some and they're, you know and certain songs are run, depending on the age of the teenager. Oh, you know, I'll play it over and over and yeah. over again. Or I know I, what their angle is. I've just worked out their angle. They're going to start their own telco and you've got to go through them. <laughs> no, they're going to make more money. So well, instead of making, what, 30 cents every time someone downloads a song, right? It's more than that. Well, what, we'll say it's 30 cents. <coughs> that one song, right, you might say you might play that, I don't know, 20 times, which equals 30 cents. Right. But then you keep playing it, so they keep getting one cent every time you play it. So maybe the, so their royalties yes. are going to be greater. Yes. The so other thing that they might be it's it's multiple good, cherry good, bites, yeah. not just the one bite. Here's another one that they might be. This is a cynical view of what they might be doing, but it wouldn't surprise you if they did do it. When's the last time you bought a song? A year ago, maybe. Right? You might have spent a couple of bucks. Long time ago. Right. Okay. Let's just say it was a year ago, and you spent twenty dollars. Rodney Roode right? album count. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Anything from the iTunes store, yeah, right? Yep. Uh, as far as music or verbal, whatever. Verbal, yeah. Right. Yeah. Twenty, twenty. It's okay. Twenty bucks a year ago. Now, if they said, "Righto, you can only stream now," 
Um, no download. So everything you've ever bought, you can still listen to. Mm. But you can't buy anything and download anymore. So, for example, uh, every now and again, I, am only, I only might spend 20 bucks a year on songs. Yes. Right? But they think, oh, well, sorry, you've got to subscribe. And that's going to cost you 10 bucks a month. Well, yes. Yes. Right? That's another, that's another way. Suddenly yeah. you're paying an extra $100 a year just to have access to the music in the event that you might want to listen to something. Whereas well, now it's pay as you go. Well, you know They're what? Pushing you towards a subscription service. Yeah, and then it's more lucrative for them. Yeah, and then hello Napster, two point Exactly. Like you know, that's what'll happen. Like people aren't yeah, gonna. Yeah. Do well, it. see, this is the thing. Look, if it's true, then it's just to me, it is just one more nail in the Cookie Monster's coffin, because he is doing a really, really crappy job. Yeah, it's not there's no vision. There's no leadership. The, the, the garbage that they're serving up. Those MacBooks, remember, with a Pentium M chip? Yes. What yeah. in God's earth is that crap? Yeah, just that's just rubbish. I, I had one of those, an M, a Pentium M chip, in about 1998. Mm, yeah. Because, well, just speaking of Pentium, Pentium Ms, I think you had another story, didn't you, about uh, Apple Notebooks. Now, oh, that's what, right. what the that's hell? Really... I don't even remember what an Apple Notebook is. Well, what? Apple was clobbered by a huge tumble in notebook shipments last quarter. What's the notebook? notebook? Laptop. Oh, okay. I thought Laptop. it was a small or something that I've never no, seen. No. no, the company's shipments, get this, shipments for the last quarter, right, three months. Yep. It's a very short period, 90 days, fell 40%. Yeah, that's, right? a, that's, that's a big fall. Right. So that's... Uh, from the final quarter of 2015 to the first quarter of 2016, 40%. Well, that'd be a penny of M's. That's it. No one's buying them. Yes. Because because <laughs> people aren't stupid. People, no. Look, I hate, I'm not going to be, I'm not, this is not meant to be snobby or anything, but generally the people that buy Apple products have got a higher disposable income. Would that be correct? Well, you have to, to, to afford them, yes. Right, okay. And generally people with a higher disposable income are educated. Correct. Well, that's Highly the educated. that's the the image that's portrayed. Yes, that's the that's the general, whatever, right? Yeah. Because you've got a certain amount of cash, and you don't get that sort of cash unless if you're a moron, <laughs> that, right? Duncan, if you're, if you're working pumping gas, <laughs> earning ten bucks an hour, you're not going anywhere near an Apple store. No. Right? Highly educated, professional with a degree, possibly, right? Yeah. You you'll be high disposable income. Yep. Therefore, you're not an idiot. You're smart. You, you're savvy. You're street smart. All, all university smart. Doesn't matter. You're smart, hmm. right? And they've tried to pull one over them. They brought out the Pentium M, and just because it's got its shiny colours, they think, oh, everyone's going to fall in love with this. Yeah. You know, substance over form. Yes. No, wait a minute. No one's going to fall for a pretty. They're going to look under the hood. Well, they're just the Apple buyers are discerning buyers. They're not going to fork out that sort of money. <laughs> for a substandard engine. Well, they couldn't po probably put a faster CPU in anyway because of the battery life, I guess. I don't know. Like, because that was the, the, the laptop that was marketed. Well, they did it with, well, did it with the Apple, uh, uh, the MacBook Air. Yeah, yeah. But wasn't that, that, that Pentium M thing marketed as in, you know, they sort of exploded it and said, oh, how nice is this? Everything's all molded together and everything's shaped so it all fits. Why and... don't you get too clever? Yeah. Why don't you, why don't you just bring out different coloured uh, MacBook Airs? It would have just flown out the door. Yeah. I said, oh, everything's rose gold these days. I can't stand it. But everything... oh, I don't care what colour is. The point <laughs> is, if you want to sell something based on different colours, come out with an existing product. The existing product, make that better. Yeah. What are they going to do? 40%? You know, for example, right? Let's just compare. Let's just say that the MacBook Air was the the BMW, right of yeah. the of the range, right? Yeah. In, right, middle of the range, luxury item, right? And the top of the range would be let's call it the um, let's call it the Porsche, hmm. right? So you just want to buy the BMW, which is the MacBook Air. Then they come out with a Pentium M with a rose gold and all these colours. And they priced it above the BMW, but you're getting a Holden Commodore. Mm. Yeah. Right? So who's going to do that? Why would I go into a dealership and say, you know, that Beamer over there, I don't want that one. I want the really expensive one next to it that's the Commodore. Can I have that? It's got a smaller engine. 
It goes, does north to 60 and 30 seconds instead of four seconds. I want that one. Do you know what's happened? Now, I know exactly what's happened here. It's the reality distortion field has descended over Cupertino. Instead, of, instead of it descending over fanboys and, and public. It's, it's descended over them. It's descended over Tim Cook. And he's, right. he's in La and he, La Land. He's believing, he's believing his own hype. Yeah. Re- right. Reality distortion field. He's gone. He's been he's sucked tra- in. He's actually, his distortion field, if that's the case, is actually worse than Steve Jobs's, Because mm. he got you to fall in love with products, but then when you got them, you stayed in love with the products. Yes. Yeah. Right? He gets you to fall in love with a product, and you get it, and you go, that's crap. You know how much I like my iPhone? Like, I, yes. like, I like iPhones. I like iPads. Mm-hmm. Probably where it stops. But that's I, I like Apple for my mobile devices. Yes, but look, look, after this one runs out... Like if there's if if the seven the seven S comes out, and it's just like a, a, a what what, a, what would it take you? I'd to change buy a 7S. to buy what a seven S to buy a seven S. Yeah, what would you need in it? Oh, and it'd have to be just something. Well, you go and look. I don't know. Like I, I just find that you look at these androids that they're they're slicker. They they just seem to, to yeah, look and the android do a lot more. The physical machine looks. Pretty nice, the yep. physical machine. The GUI is uh, nice. The GUI is pretty nice, but the soft, the back end software is rubbish. That's the problem with Android. Yeah, but the, they look, they're, they're improving on it as, as uh, they should be. It's but... gonna take a while. I'll never buy an Android phone. Well, I could be but, persuaded, but it doesn't mean I'm not. Gonna, I'm gonna jump on the next iPhone either. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I could be persuaded just to go back and just dabble, you know, but. I don't know. I, we'll I have don't to think see. I ever will. Once, once bitten, twice shy for me. Yeah, I know. I know. My first, I, my first Android was a shocker. And shocker. Couldn't use it. And look, look, a lot of things have changed since then. Obviously, hmm. right? But I don't know. I just wouldn't go. You know, it's it's the it's the to me the biggest problem is the for the Android is the inconsistency with the software, the upgrades. Yeah, upgrades are. There is, if you if you've got an iPhone. There's a good chance that 90% of people are running the same iOS version. Yeah, true, true. Right? You get an Android and you could have people there running, you know, version 4 yeah. when the latest one's version 8. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's just, it's too inconsistent. It's too fragmented. They haven't got a tight distribution on their on their software updates, which mm. is a bit of a shame. And if they did, if they got that right they would sell 10 times as many more than Apple if they got that right. Yeah. But they're not going to get it right because they've got too many people making their, their own Android phone because the software's free. So you've got Sony making them and Samsung and LG and HTC and, you know, everyone's making them. So they've got their own software upgrade program and they're never in whack with Andro- with Googles or Androids, yeah. which is the problem. But, uh, you know, the, I, this, I'm, I, I'm up for a contract in September. It's not far away, so that's four months. Um, I'm not changing my phone. No. Because uh, there's nothing that the 7, even now, I'm thinking, well, what could it possibly... If, if it came out... Look, the only reason I'd buy a 7 is if it was a hologram. If I put it on a desk, <laughs> yes. right? And yeah. a hologram popped out of it and I could talk to you. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be right? good. That's and, innovative. And if you're listening, Apple... Get back in the research labs and start doing it because you're all morons who haven't come up with anything decent in five years. Yeah. Oh, the Number watch. two, it has to be waterproof. Yes. Number three, it has to float. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So you can have a, you could get you can drop it in the water. It doesn't sink to the bottom. It floats. Hmm. Um. And while it's floating, your hologram's up there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Right? So you could be in the bath or in a pool talking to someone on your floating hologram iPhone. No, that'd be good. Right? That'd that's be good. The only reason unless they can do that, I'm not buying an iPhone seven. That that's good. That's good. Um yeah, well, that'd be uh, well, you know, they need to come up with something, you're right. There this has to be something. But, Obviously that's a long way away. But yeah, but they need my something. Point is they haven't come up with anything. Even if they started with it floats. Yeah. Well what right? about or, or or it's waterproof. Let's start with that. But n- not just by updating the software. Yeah, that's right. Don't just give me a different <laughs> GUI and go, Oh look. The messages buttons a different color. But remember, wow! I'm gonna buy and buy one now. Remember, there was that 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 rumor. I don't know if it was an April Fool's or whatever it was, but it was uh, if you update your iPhone to seven point 
O or something. It, it made it waterproof. So you yeah. had people updating and chucking them in the buckets. <laughs> Yeah, or put it in the microwave and it'll charge your phone. Now, look, I just got this text through, hot off the press, um, yes. and uh, it's a, it's on Gumtree. It's a Macintosh Classic Two Collector's Piece. Look, I'll yes. show you. It's on it's on the Gumtree. Can't see it. Move it to your right. Oh, sorry, that one there for you. Okay. It's one of right. those old ones. This is yes, for the yes. for the podcast. This camera. Yeah, I used to play some sort of space game on that computer. Hundred bucks. Do you reckon it's worth it? Oh, yeah, that's worth it. You reckon? Especially if it's working. Yeah, it said it was working. Last time it was unplugged, it was working. Any programs? Ask you. It was last working splendidly when it was unplugged. For the next Apple hardware system, it was kept safe and clean out of dust. It's now taking up room in garage. It's time to go to a home that'll be using it. My internet research indicates that it can be great for parts or as is up to 350 so I'll sell it for 100 as it has no cords or booklet. Make an offer. Texting is good. No cord. No, How are you plugging it in? No cords or booklet. I don't know. Is it a special cord? Or is it just a, a three pin or a, a figure eight plug? I don't know. But if he said it worked when he last plugged it in, but he's got no cord, he's lying to you. No, when he when he unplugged it to upgrade to the new one. So he's obviously lost a cord somewhere. Okay. Well, then you're going to ask him what sort of cord it is. If it's a figure eight hmm. coming out of the back and a three point at the other end, it, it, that'll be fine. Do you reckon it's worth it? Hundred bucks is worth it. Shit, yeah. Yeah. All right. I might. I might Sit down to seventy-five. I'll, I'll go in at fifty. And if he's got no cord, it's fifty. Yeah, fifty no cord. By the time I'm finished with him, he'll be paying me money. <laughs> Take it away. Take it to the dump. All right. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, things that come through, eh? Someone sent me that as a text. So obviously, uh, think. So here, are, and here take... are the notebook shipments for the quarter. Yes. 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 Nova, finish off. Nova is number one. Yep. Uh, minus ten percent. But they have a twenty percent market share. Uh, HP number two. Lenovo is good. I like my Lenovo. Lenovo is quite nice. Lenovo, uh, sorry, start again. Lenovo market share twenty two percent down. Shipments down ten percent. HP number two, uh, market share twenty percent. Shipments down twenty one percent. Dell number three, market share fourteen point seven. Uh, shipments down fifteen. ASUS. This is a general, to me, this is a general um, uh, indication of the economy when everyone's down, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, people aren't just, are just pulling back a little bit. Uh, Asus, 11.4. Um, yeah, but when you get to Apple, right? So Apple is number six ranking. They yeah. only have 7.1% of the market, but they make more per, com- their, their, their profit per computer is obviously a lot higher. Yeah. Um, but but when you're talking the, what's that quarter on quarter they're down 40% which is the largest down 40%. but the, the the telling statistic here right look at the novo last fourth quarter last year their their um market share was 19.9 and it's now 22.2 yeah right and they've had a minus 10% drop in shipments and but they've gone up in market share mm. everyone else has gone down but yes. apple get this last quarter they were 9.7% nearly 10% and they've lost nearly 3%. Oh, that's those M's. Plenty of M's. <coughs> yes. No one's buying them. They're rubbish. No. That's right. That, that's rubbish. And I think we were the first to bag them. So, yeah, I reckon they were. And all the Apple fanboys went and cried mm. in their basement. <laughs> now, John McAfee. We all, we all know John McAfee, don't we? Uh, mm-hmm. he, he, what did he do? Probably did invent it, but his company made the McAfee antivirus. He's, uh, he's been appointed chief executive of the MGT Capital Investments. And said he didn't like the name, so he's so he's going to change it. He's going McAfee. To, he's going to change it to um, he changed it to John McAfee Global, Global Technologies. I I used to just call it uh, McAfee Game of Thrones. <laughs> yes. I wonder if he get well, why doesn't McDonald's take him to court, sue him over the use of the Mac? You can't. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. What about McDonald's want to charge a fee? They call it the Mac fee. Can't do what? it. What? Mac fee? The Mac well, not in not in Germany. The what? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> McDonald's want to charge you a fee for I don't know using the drive through. There's a fee. What if for... your name's Mac? What if your name's McDonald? What are they going to sue you? You can't use your name. That's our name. Trademark your surname. What was if your, your name's, name's McDonald? What happens? You know, if someone says to you if your 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 name's John McDonald. Yeah. And, you, and your friend of yours goes, Hey, what are you doing this afternoon? I'm going to McDonald's. Right. You're talking about your friend. 
What happens if you change the name to iPhone? Could you? They can't stop you. But can they? Can you start putting out a product? Um, no. Can you open up a business? iPhone. You could open up a business. You could. You could have a company name called Eric iPhone Proprietary Limited. Or could you just go? Does it have to be your full name? Can you just go iPhones? Well, if you use your full name, then they can't sue you because it's your name. Change your name to I first name, phone second yeah, name. I, I dot phone. iPhones shop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> getting lost. <laughs> Why don't you try it? <laughs> so, which which of your kids' names don't you like? You have to change change that one. All right. Well, anyway, so John McAfee, he's done what he's he's doing that. He he's, he classifies himself as an online celebrity now, who sold his oh what's that word, Eric? E- 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 eponymous. Ep- where, 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 hang where, on, where? I'll I'll highlight it for you. That hang word on. there. Right. Ep- right. Eponymous. eponymous. No, no. But anyway, he sold it. He sold his. He sold the antivirus company to Intel for seven point six billion. So that fella is not a poor guy. No, who did he sell it to? Oh, Intel. Yeah, so, they haven't done much with it. McAfee's rubbish. I I refuse to use McAfee. Oh, that's the first thing you take off when you buy a laptop, isn't it? That's exactly right. It's just bloat. It's just full of. Blah. And he says here, how old is this article, mate? He says he's a presidential candidate for November 16 <laughs> as part of his new cyber party. I don't know. He was. I remember ages ago we were talking about he was going to jump on the... What What side was he on? Oh, I that wouldn't idea. say. Yeah. Anyway, the Trump train's well, well chugging well, along. Gonna, he's got... Um, doesn't mind holding his pistols. No, he likes pistols. He does. He's Look a at bit it. of a nut job. It's a little... Yeah, I think there's a few good YouTube videos. If you're into some funny stuff on YouTube with John McAfee, go and have a look at just YouTube McAfee. You'll find some good videos. Now, look, if you're in for a Windows 10 laptop or a convertible tablet slash laptop, you could, if you wanted to, might be a little bit faster maybe than the Apple one, and it's only $259. It's Windows. Kogan has revealed its Atlas 2-in-1 convertible for $259. How's that? I bet you that's got a Pentium M, and it, but it only costs $259 instead of $2,590. It's, uh, In which case, you could deal with it. Yeah, that's, ooh, that's $260. It's an Atlas 2-in-1 powered by Intel Atom X5 Z8 300. Be interesting to actually do a benchmark on that. Yes, yes. Uh, Someone will. Someone you, will. You probably could. Um, let me just. I'll just try and if I Google it, I'll just quickly Google and see if uh, if we can just get a get a snap hit here just quickly. So if I go that versus Pentium M and see what happens. Uh, so the Intel Pentium N Dothan three. 735A versus Adam. Here we go. Let's have a look here. Uh, what does it say? Join the discussion. Doesn't really Ooh. say. Higher clock speed, better clock speed. Look, I can't show you the screen for those on the video, um, unfortunately. Uh, higher clock speed versus... Okay, so you've got... Oh, the Pentium. What's this? I can't even understand that stupid web page. That's stupid. Okay, let's go to another one. The CPU boss. Let's have a look at the CPU bars. Okay, so the Intel Pentium M Dothan 710, 1.4 gigahertz. The Atom, the one I just said, is 1.44 quad core. And the Pentium M was a single core. We'd have to, you'd have to look into it more, see what actual Pentium M it was. It would be faster. But the Atom it, would be faster. It could be. Because it's quad core. It could well be. Could well be. Um, anyway, so it's got full functionality, according to Kogan, for PC functionality, that is. So you, you turn it on, it's, it's a Windows 10 right in your hand. It's a tablet. It weighs 600 grams, has a high-definition 10.1-inch touchscreen, which is good because when you use it as a tablet, you, you pretty much want a touchscreen. It's got a SD card slot, micro USB 2, full-size USB 3, and mini HDMI. Jeez, it's, it's spectacular. Back then. Yeah. It's, uh, the Pogo pin on the keyboard allows it to be charged with the tablet what the hell's a pogo pin oh it's a little pin that it's because a keyboard is usually a bluetooth keyboard yeah right so oh i see yep yeah so oh, you I see. plug it in and, and, and it just charges from the computer but the bat the battery life on these things is usually what brings them down but for 260 dollars, according to uh russell proud 
Oh, he's probably proud of that machine. From Kogan, product manager. One full charge of the lithium ion 5800AH battery is enough for a whole day use. Well, again, well, we'll depends see. what you're doing, doesn't yeah. it? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, look, I'll have another one, Eric, if you don't mind. And, Go for your uh, life. I think you've got one left, haven't you? Yes. Now, Optus finally joins Telstra Vodafone with voice over LTE. So that's probably good. That's probably one of the one of the things that probably may be stopping me from going with Optus and the like is just the quality of the call. So Optus has launched its voice over LTE following Telstra Vodafone's lead last year. Uh, the technology that integrates voice calls into the 4G data stream rather than having the network switch down to 3G. So you know, uh, yes. So yes, that's all. Right. That's got to be good. Now it's it's called the acronym can be Volt V little O. LTE, so Volt, voice over, you know, get it. Provides customers a number of benefits, including high definition quality voice calls, faster call connections, and the ability for customers to multitask uh, on the device while browsing and making a call over a 4G connection. Now, the service will be available initially on the Samsung Galaxy S7 and the Galaxy S7 Edge with progressive rollout to other devices. Geographically, Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Adelaide, Perth, and Canberra, metropolitan areas will be the first. To um to get the vault, All the right. vault. Now Microsoft warns that the free Windows 10 offer is due to expire July. So if you haven't upgraded to Windows 10 yet, and you are on seven eight, yeah, seven or eight or eight point one, uh, you better have a think about it. Because if you don't upgrade, and they do take that away, as they th- looks like they they're saying they're going to, uh, will be cost you probably around about 180 bucks. If you want to upgrade in the future, a little bit, still a bit cheaper than um, what they used to be. Yeah, yeah. I think look the OEM versions that you get for about one hundred and twenty, I think something like that. But the retail ones, yeah, one hundred and seventy nine. Microsoft reminded customers on its blog about the offer expiration dates, along with the news it has surpassed three hundred million Windows ten users since launching last year. Mm. You'd think it'd be more than three hundred million, wouldn't you? That's yeah, not, I think so. Like in the whole world, like the whole world, it's what six billion. A lot of people have got a computer. A lot of people, but anyway, yeah, and yeah, three hundred million. That's just like. Well, um, pop- Steve Gibson's still on XP. Well, yeah. Now didn't he go? Didn't he go to seven? Oh, did he? I don't know. He might have. I haven't, I haven't been over to the old grc.com for quite some time. <laughs> now. <laughs> Um, the Microsoft is preparing a release uh, of a Windows 10 anniversary update. Oh, hooray. That'll break everything. Yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you upgrade your Skype as well? Because we're very happy with that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it looks like your Skype might blow out every half an hour. Let's have a look. Now, new features will include biometric security for Windows apps, more stylus functionality, Eric. Oh, and, I can't wait. And uh, Cortana integration. In info uh, integration for more apps, Cortana, Cortana. I haven't used Cortana. Have you used, used Cortana? No. I haven't turned it on. I don't need to. I've turned it on, but she can't hear me. I don't know. The microphone's not on. Like, it's, oh, she's the, an idiot. Yeah. You reckon, is it Cortana or Cortana? Who cares? Yeah, I've never used it. All right, so that's uh, Windows 10. And what's what's that last little gem you've got down there? Um, the Apple story. Yeah. Uh, iPhone. The, they're talking about the 2017 iPhones. That's next year. Right. What's coming out this year? Well, they say this year's iPhone will look very similar to the last year's iPhone, the 6S. Do you know what they've got to do? They, what they've got to do... Not, not is, bring one out. Yeah, is just slow down, right? I know that they reckon they've got to bring one out every year because that's what keeps the sales bubbling along. But how about you just slow down... And, do a, and yeah. release one every two years that is shit hot. That's right. That's right. And so each... each <coughs> Make your development um, a lead roadmap. time longer. Yeah. Get a roadmap and go, this is where we want to be. And then, so, you know, so when you say, oh, I've got a six, you go, yep, yeah, I've got a seven. Oh, yeah, the seven. Exactly. That's the one with the, exactly. with the hologram. They come out with every year and they're calling it S. What's S stand for? Shit. Spastics. Spastic. <laughs> are you allowed to say that word these days? No. There's so many words you're not allowed to say. Oh, you can't say anything, but I don't care. So <laughs> that's for another podcast. <laughs> so next year they reckon they're going to have um, 
edge to edge screen. Oh wow, 2017 yeah. must be the year I'm gonna jump on ship. Now I think if we, if Will was here, I think he'd say that it's Samsung or the one already of the Androids already got it. Yep. Yeah, already got it. So, so that's all. There's no floating hologram phone yet. So that's it. Multiple rumors have suggested the uh, 2017. That's next year. Uh, the 2017 iPhone will have a 5.8 inch OLED display. Maybe just mm. a rumor. Uh, along with an OLED display, it would include a glass shell, like the iPhone 4 and 4S, rather than the aluminium body. Why they took away the glass shell on the iPhone 4 is beyond me. Uh, oh, there's my rec- there it is. Rec- my drive's rec- you still there? Yeah, yeah. What's happened? Start. Oh, I get this display. Uh, Display driver f- fault. Oh, here we go. You, we're going to lose you. Skype. That's what you uh, might need to update um, your your graphic card driver. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe. Well, uh, I've done all the updates. Yeah, you could go looking for the graphic card though. Um, yeah, you might have to. You might, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. So, at, so uh, what is it? Long long range. What's it? Long range wireless charging and expanded biometric f- features like iris or facial recognition. Well, facial rec- Windows have been doing facial recognition for three years. Yeah, it's it's. They need to slow down. They need to pull up stumps for a minute. Because they just you know what they're doing. They're going right. What's out there? What's everyone already got? Yeah. And let's grab it and put it into our phone. Yeah, that's that's. So the- they're spending all their time copying people rather than coming up with something new. What happened? Is what? How long do you reckon Steve Cook, Tom Cook, whatever the hell his name is, Captain Cook's got? As he, if, if it was up to me, he'd be gone by the end of the year. But is it, he sort of in the job that he retires in? Is he in a job that, look, if he doesn't watch it, I reckon he's, he's, he's. I reckon it's to him. It's just a, yeah. I'll just cruise along here. You know, I'm getting fifty million a year. Yeah. You know, I do what I like. I go to the gym anytime I want. Come out and say hi, everyone. Come out with a new phone. Yeah. And you know, it's just. I think he's not as driven as. Oh no way. Previous management. Well, it's not his company. Like, That's right. You're right. They need to get. There's no skin in the game. They need to get. Just as a figurehead, was back involved. No, forget figurehead. Bring him back. Well, it would be better, but I don't his, think he wants give to. You, give you some ideas. Yeah, but I don't think he wants to. Well, I don't know. I don't want to speak well, they, for well, him. Have they even asked him? Maybe they should ask him and find out. Well, we was talking about this last year or two years ago. We were saying they should put Was back in just even as a, you know, as a as a figurehead or something, just for a bit of inspiration uh, and a bit of. They need more than a figurehead. They need someone with a fresh look, different set of eyes. And Was hasn't been there for a while, and he could look around and come up with things. And I reckon he'd come up with some things. Need a mover and a shaker. He's got. They've got to start shaking something up. Need an ideas person. Johnny Ives is a designer. He's been right? quiet. Is he? Is he still He's alive? He's been quiet. But look, he might be getting sick of the place under Cookie. You know, well, there's no. To me, I could. I, you sort of sense that maybe he goes to work every day, and it's not as exciting as it used to be. Yeah. Well, because you, jobs, he's not there throwing things at you, going, "What do you think it is? What do you think it is? What do you yeah, think it is?" Yeah. You know, Cookie Monster's probably going, "Oh, do you like my? Does my bum look big in this?" That's probably all he's asking. Yeah, and he's probably going, well, he, he'd be asking, um, what have you got for me, Johnny? What have you got? Yeah, rather what, have than, you got? what have you got? Yeah, rather than Steve Jobs going, here, design me something like this. Design this for yeah. me. What do you Can think? you do this? Can you do yeah. this? What's our lab doing right now? Can you get some? Get those two software guys? Let's yeah. have a brainstorm. Blah, blah. Let's go, 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 go. Go make an ad, Johnny. I love your voice. Go make an ad. Yeah, that's go right. On. Sit in the white room. That's right. <laughs> Put keep the jacket on the on the shelf. Don't wear that's the jacket. Right, that's right. But there's not, I, I sense there's none of that. There's none of that. You know? There's there none you. of that innovation. There's none of that hunger to getting. I'm going to invent something new today. It's just a. It's just an empty white room with a <laughs> a protractor and a compass. And that's right. And Tim Cook yeah. sat on the compass. That's right. And tears of past Apple employees. Hmm. That's no good. But what about the uh, Facebook? Bloody um. Uh, mucking around with the trending articles of what they show in yes, feeds and stuff. Yes, yes, uh, dickheads. But that's, uh, you know, but what comes of that? Probably nothing there, private company. Nothing, you can't do anything. That's, that's, it's it's uh, like a newspaper, the, edit, the editor or the editorial 
it's up to them what, what mm. you want to show. So, like, just that this wasn't one of the stories I had, but just to fill you in of what we're talking about is uh, is Facebook tended to like in the trending stories. You know, you look on Facebook, you go, oh, "What's trending? It's this story, this story, this story, that story." Well, apparently, as it's coming out from some disgruntled employees, believe whether you believe them or not, it's up to you. But uh, what's coming out, it's getting headlines in the US at the moment, is that those that the employees used to sit down and they would, if you know, they would see the stories, and most of the the employees uh, were either told or were they they were say more left of the political center and so they mm-hmm. were they they were promoting left more left stories rather mm. than the right stories well uh, look if you my view is is if the guardian is a lefty rag uh the herald is a lefty rag and news corp newspapers are usually the right papers Mm. In, you know, right of centre as far as politically and right as incorrect <laughs> as well. Yeah. Um, and you're, you're, look, you do what you like. You know, if, that's, if you're a lefty, West, uh, lefty um, communist rag that hates capitalism and everyone in it, <clears throat> you can print whatever you like mm. because it's not funded by the public purse. I don't care. It's privately funded. You make money for your shareholders. That's good. You can do what you like. Yeah. I don't have to read it. But when a lefty rag or a lefty broadcasting outfit funded by the Australian government starts mucking around with what they're showing mm. and, and, and skewing it one way or another and not being objective, that is wrong. Yeah, and I think, uh, well, that's what the, apparently the Facebook issues are. They're skewing it one way. And it's only just a matter of, point that if you know like i suppose I don't care. it's a private it's a company with shareholders it's not government funded they can do what they like yeah well, that's right but i think it's it's important <laughs> then you could say it's important that people know that they're doing it so yes. they can go well i don't don't I'm not going right. to get my news if, from there you exactly know, I'll, I'll get my news. Right. well look if you're if someone is a moron enough to want to get their news from facebook well they deserve the crap that they're getting i do you're an idiot <laughs> then you're an idiot <laughs> Now, the Space Invaders and Sonic uh, have been added to the Gaming Hall of Fame. Well done, Space Invaders. We won't talk about the Logies, will we? No. That, that was another joke. No, but that's, that's, should, that's losing they interest. They that. that oh, is just that's rubbish. Like a C-grade idiots. Yeah, that isn't that just rubbish. Like, you get shows, like, strike me down, but how does a show like Gogglebox get an award? Yeah, like exactly. that is the worst piece of TV. Because I, it's not; it's voted in by the, the the stupid public who buys TV Week. But who buys TV Week? The idiots that vote. <laughs> I can't Obviously. believe anyone still buys the magazine. It's not, it's not done by, you know, like the for example the um, what do you call it here? Uh, in the old day, they used to call it Actors Equity. You know, the, yeah, the yeah. union set up, and they, you know, all the actors join that, and you know, and it's not a, it's not peers voting mm. like they're doing the Academy Awards, right? Yeah. yeah, it's the peers and and the and the group that votes for the movies on the Academy board members or whatever, right? The general public, I'll tell you what, if the general public were allowed to vote on Academy Awards. Could you imagine the who'd be getting the awards? John Claude Van Damme would have had eight awards by now. <laughs> yes, but, right, but I mean, but it should be public voted. Like I reckon it should be. I don't reckon. What a public no. But not for it's the most popular and all. Or, this. or do a fifty-fifty. It's weighted fifty percent public vote, fifty yeah. percent. You know, that, yeah. that's fair. I'd go along with that. I could, I could do that. Maybe we should do a do a national TV awards ourselves. Yeah, I reckon. You know? But I don't, I don't want enough TV to know anything about what's decent. I know Gogglebox is rubbish. Oh, I can't believe anyone would even watch that. Like, well, I want to f- watch um, donut munching, beer flatulent, flatulent <laughs> beer, beer gutted <laughs> idiots commenting on other people who are eating donuts and being flatulent. Uh, I don't think so. But I, I, look, I haven't even watched it. But I couldn't imagine that they like the people bag it. Any Channel Ten programs? Do they sit there and go, "Oh, the project that's rubbish"? What a rubbish! Oh, you, oh you'd never, you could, you'd never hear someone say, "Oh, that Waleed Ali's a bit of a beep." No one would ever say that on Gogglebox. An old pinko. Yeah. <laughs> but Dane Edna called him an old pinko. Oh, he is. <laughs> I had to look up what that meant. Yeah, Como. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> oh, the old dame head. No, I think she was she on the Terps. Now, anyway, She's, why not? <laughs> <laughs> He's allowed. Now, the 1978 Space Invaders has been honoured alongside Sonic the Hedgehog, The Legend of Zelda, The Oregon Trail, Grand Theft Auto 3, and The Sims. So there you go. Right. Get that well, out. I've only ever played one of those games. That's The Sims. Uh, the They joined oh, the six... Pac-Man. I've got Pac-Man. Yeah, they joined oh, the six Tetris. inaugural yeah. titles from 2015. Doom, Pong, Pac-Man, Super Mario Brothers, Tetris, and World of Warcraft. Uh, Hall of Fame games become permanent exhibits at the Strong Museum of Play in Rochester, New York. Well, I reckon I should put Grand Theft Auto V in there. That's brilliant. Have you, do you play it? <laughs> oh, no, I've got it here. Right. My oldest oldest girl plays it about two or three times a year. It's hilarious. Isn't that like real full-on violence? Oh, it's full-on. Yeah, it's hilarious. Just run people over. <laughs> right. It's on the it's, Xbox. Yeah. So funny, <laughs> so funny. Because oh, she'll be, she's trying to be normal, right? She'll be going lucky because you got to drive on the right hand side of the road as well, right? Right. It's based in the states, so she's driving on the right hand side of the road, and I say, "Can I have a go?" She goes, "Yeah, sure." So I just drive to the left hand side <laughs> and just head no. on everybody because your car never dies, right? And if it gets smashed up, you just get out of your car and run up to a set of lights and carjack someone. <laughs> <laughs> you throw them out of the car and they're bleeding on the street. Nice, you nice. You drive off in a, you think, oh, yeah, I like that Land Rover, I'll grab that. Yeah. And you just drive off. And you just go up in the footpath down Hollywood Boulevard, you know, where the, where the stars are. Yeah, yeah. Right? All the tourists there. Mow them. You just, run, just run them over. <laughs> <laughs> Can you go around the Trump Tower while you're, while you're there? I don't think they've got a Trump Tower in LA, have they? Oh, no, it might be. Yeah, but there should be a Grand Theft New York. Oh, they would, yeah, they should be. And the, the other thing is, as you go up levels, you can you can um, you can nick helicopters. Right, nice. And my my oldest a few months ago got high enough that she was stealing jumbo jets. Yeah, nice. It's going to the airport, LAX. I'm jumping on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Oh, then I don't know. I don't play any games. I'd like to probably. I might get into something like that. Sounds pretty good. But yeah, oh, it's, it's pretty funny. You drive up the Trump Tower and Don just says, drop. Nobody you just get, a, just, just drive, get a little mini and just drive it into the lift <laughs> and just go up to, go up to Don's office. <laughs> and you go, get out. Get out of here. Get out. You're fired. Yeah, you're fired. Get out. All right. Well, talking about getting out of here, I think it's uh, time we got out of here. It's, uh, yeah, geez, it uh, goes fast, doesn't it? It's got it interruptions and all. I only uh, got one freeze today. Yeah, you're not going to do them too bad. And we're nearly up to your 30 minutes, so we'll see what happens. All right, so that is the end of the show. So don't forget you can join all these shows together on the Aussie Tech Radio. Just join them together somehow, I don't know. But uh, you can search for it on the TuneIn Radio app or go to the AussieTechRadio.com for some more information or listen to it off the website. And uh, that's about it. Don't forget ATHWebHosting.com.au. And uh, that's it. Any final thoughts this week, Eric? No, uh, other than uh, good night, uh, good luck, and uh, Cookie Monster's got to go. Yes. All right. On that note, we'll see you next week. Good night. Bye-bye. Farewell. Farewell.